Hello and welcome to Pulse Model Train Stuff. Today I'm going to play around with this. It's got no gears in it, uh, but there is an engine in it, and it seems, uh, except for the, 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 the sprockets and everything, the, the whole thing is okay. So um, I'm going to open it to see what's inside here because um, I've never had the chance to open one of these. It's a Fleischmann. It's a quite well known model. And it's. Uh, uh, it even has a wire so it can draw the power from the overhead wires. And here it is already. Easy to open, easy to access. It's one of the older models. This it has the, the little pin here to trigger um, things on the track switch to different to, to switch uh, to know where your train is now let's see what's in here it's missing one two three four of the of the gears but the motor sounds quite nice and um, I'm hoping there's gonna be <laughs> these are the caps that I'm always missing I'm just hoping there is some uh, brushes in there so I can make this auto locomotive that I have run a bit smoother. Uh, let's see. There's the motor. Taking it out and there's one brush in here. That's interesting. Just just one. Hmm. No springs. They have probably have already been scavenged. Oh no, here is a spring. Look at that. Let's see if I can get that one out. The other one is completely empty. Uh, screwdriver, screwdriver. Yeah. This gives me a pretty good idea of what I'm going to need to get for the other train to make it run, run a bit better because it's now running off with uh, the brushes are obviously too big this is actually looking quite good it's nice and clean it's a shame some of these are missing um, but it looks like it's exactly the same as this one which has only two of the missing ones that's a shame but yeah they just Almost copied it straight over. Hmm. So I would need to get a bunch of gears and um, the correct brushes for this. That's. I've had worse. I've had worse. So I think I'm gonna put this back together and. Oh, there's just wires sticking out left and right, and requires quite some fixing on, on that front as well. Uh, well. That's what I like doing, fixing these things. And what's more boring than finding the one that's already running? So I'm just going to put this back together and uh, make this a very short video. And I, um, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.